What up, guys? It's your boy Paul. I'm back, man. We're watching House of the Dragon episode two. Uh, yeah, first episode was dope. Excited, man. Threw me back into it, seeing the castle, the throne, and even uh, you know the idea that the throne is made out of sword. You know, and it's cut dude's finger. Even though it seems like that means he's like a clumsy dude, and you know, it's just some kind of probably not the guy that should have been on the throne. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, so it's cool like that. Plus, got to see uh, Damien Targaryen. Bro, dude, hard. He tough, man. And I didn't think I was going to get past Philip, but instantly, he, he didn't make me think of Philip at all. He made me think of a Targaryen, a tough warrior, a dragon rider. You know what I'm saying? And even old girl, she seemed cool. She seemed young, but she seemed like she was wanted to be, at least destined for greater than just bearing children like her mom. So that kind of developed and played into her moving into the status that she's at. And then, you know what I'm saying, we got this Game of Thrones about to get down with the Targaryens, with the preface saying uh, the only thing that could destroy them is themselves. So, yeah. Excited about it? Let me know what you think, and let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, yeah. So we still got the same music, huh? Okay. Ooh. Well, this is about blood. Mm. That Targaryen blood, that flow. Okay. Bro, I just can't go on without saying, what is that, air for a day? Hey, homie. Oh, what's up with old boy, man? <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. Ah, that's some dudes, man. I want to know what is to be done about my ships and my men. The crowns. I don't want compensation. You want war. I want to seize the Stepstones by force. Seven kingdoms have never entered open war with the free cities. Were that to happen, the losses would be incalculable. Bro's like, I'll pay you back. Ships and men are at the ready. The Stepstones will be settled. In time. You have dragon riders, father. Oh, the queen to be speaks. Send us. Oh, it isn't that simple, Rhaenyra. It would be a show of force. At least the princess has a plan. <laughs> I only meant that we should at least. Perhaps uh, there's some better use for the princess's talent. It's not true, man. She's an heir, so she gotta practice. You gotta know. You might thank him for his leal service, Princess. We thank you for your loyal service to the Crown, sir. Hmm. But she may like this, though, the fact that she is able to be queen, even though she didn't get to be queen. It's a change, a guard. Maybe. Or maybe she's gonna try and vie for the throne, too. And ten. Do any of these knights have combat experience beyond capturing poachers? Sir Kristen Cole. I knew it. Yes. Homeboy. Son of the steward of the Lord of Blackhaven. That's be welcome, Sir Kristen. He won the thing. He beat Damon. I fought for a year as a foot soldier against the Dornish incursion. Sir Arlen Dondarrion knighted me after we raised two of the watchtowers along the Burnwood. <laughs> Look at her. She, she liked that. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat. Of course, princess. Well, let us plan Sir Kristen's investiture then. <laughs> it does give me new eyes to see all these people. Because of what Damon said to his, uh, his brother. Tell me, how is Rhaenyra? What do you mean? Well, these days she doesn't say more than a few words to me. There are times when I would rather face the Black Dread himself than mine own daughter of 15. <laughs> I think she would open herself to you if invited. You do have such an easy way about you, Your Grace. 
Yeah, he does got like a way about him, man, an easy sense of calm. But at the same time, it seems like weakness, though, you know, easily manipulated and moved. You cannot worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. What if your father were to remarry? <laughs> She's talking about herself, I bet you. He chose you for his heir. He didn't choose me, he spurned Damon. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he spurned Damon. He didn't choose her. That's why he didn't let her talk during the court when she had a pretty good plan going down. Drag her out as get out there, take care of some stuff. I want him to see me as more than this little girl. My own father does not know the language of girls either. When I wish to talk with him, I know that I must make the effort. Bro, that's tough. She's playing both fields. But I think she's a good girl, though. I think she's doing the right thing. But one person to be confidant of two peoples. King's brother, so disinherited, has claimed the Targaryen seat on Dragonstone without challenge. And now a foreign power has established a colony. With the Targaryen dragons and the Valarian fleet bound in blood, you can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead, not behind. It hasn't even been half a year since Emma passed. The realm expects you to take a new wife sooner or later, Grace. To strengthen your line and produce more heirs. Hmm. Is they not a Targaryen? I thought, yeah, because they are like Valania or something like that. Huh. Well, bro got blonde hair. I know she is a Targaryen because she was in line for the throne. Today at small council. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But... You will learn. <laughs> he ain't even, uh, he ain't even uh, give it to her for a good advice. He's like, oh, you know, it's cool. What in the world? Oh, leeches. This is our best chance to save the... Dang, homie. The maggots will remove the dead flesh and hopefully stop the advance of the rot. Oh my goodness. That's gross. And that fool cut his... He slipped his finger on the thing and now it's about to fall off? A match with their daughter would go a long way towards sealing the breach. Hmm. The Grand Maester's reasoning is sound. But he actually wants his daughter to be queen, huh? Dang. She is short, if not... Oh my gosh, she's young. Holy crap. She is way young, dude. What's she, like 12 or 13? But Vagos still lives. Somewhere. But too large for the dragon pit. Oh, wow. That's a big freaking dragon. It would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in old Valeria. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood so that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Oh, my God. Is that what your father told you to say? What did your mother tell you? That I wouldn't have to bed you until I turned 14. <laughs> Jeez. This stuff is insane. She is a young man. That's weird. But I'm sure that's the thing it was. That's how it was back then, man. I don't think it's a, a strange thing for those days. His new wife will produce new heirs. Men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you, because that is the order of things. Hmm. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. <laughs> they denied you, Princess Rhaenys, hmm. but they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Do you remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups? Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell. She's so right that they bent to need though. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. <laughs> mm. 
I don't think she's going to contend for the throne. That was a bad idea. But I think she's a little bit jealous. I don't know Lena very well. I'm sure that she is good and kind. And that she will enjoy your company. As I have, Your Grace. Oh, now she's, she's fidgeting again when she did not before. That's dude. That was his doing right there. He put in there and snuck her in there for six months, huh? So he'd marry her out of love instead of uh, obligation or duty. Your Grace, I've called a small council to an emergency session. Why? I think it best you hear it directly. Very well. Dang, his finger's almost dead. That boy gotta be more careful, man. He's like dying every day. Oh, dang. It is the pleasure of Daemon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone, and rightful heir to the Iron Throne, to announce that he is to take a second wife in the tradition of old Valyria. She is to assume the title Lady Missaria of Dragonstone. Her grace is with child and is to have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's cradle in the custom of House Targaryen, your grace. Oh, man. In two days' time. God's been good. Uh, Who is oh, Lady oh. Missaria? We believe. Damon's whore. Scorio Drom on Damon Latas. Danilo Rombelo Matsumbile. Oh, dang. That's so. I will go to Dragonstone and drag David back to face justice your myself. Grace. Uh, My apologies, Your Grace, but I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. You cannot allow it. Damon is without limit. Let me go to Dragonstone. Dang, he sure did that. He took the egg of the air, homie. Oh, golly. Man, that king should have went himself, though. Except he'd have to go under the auspice of, uh, auspice, maybe that's the word, of actually attacking, doing some damage. Because, uh, you can't just go there thinking just because you're the king, he gonna listen. Or even just because you're his brother. I've assembled 20 of your best household guards, my lord Hand. Sahara will also join us. She worried too. She's like, I'm about to take him, lose my dad. I've already lose my mom. I'm about to lose my dad. Oh, that dude stole the dagger of egg. That was supposed to be laid in the cradle of Balaam. He knew it too, man. Ding. He's doing everything he can. And he's making it sound like this is what it's supposed to be anyway, so you gotta allow it. But at the same time, slyly saying things like, bro, I'm finna do what I gotta do, homie, to get this throne. Usurping, sedition is the right word, like homeboy said. Uh, oh, oh, got that dragon egg, <laughs> that's his wife. Uh-huh. Sir Crispin, wasn't it? Sir Crispin Cole, my prince. Ah, yes, apologies. I couldn't recall. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. <laughs> You've come for the egg. Here it is. Huh. Are you mad? To choose violence here is to declare war against your king. Wonderful. Oh. Even if it ends in the death of your unborn child and its mother. Oh yeah, you don't say that. Oh. Who is that? Oh, that's his dragon, man. That's his dragon. <laughs> Hey, I wonder if he like some of them with his like his feeling, his emotion the dragon knew. 
See the fucking steel. Cause they don't have a dragon rider. They should have. Oh, they do. That's his sister. Or I mean his his niece. Oh. I got a dragon rider. She ain't playing, dude. Look at her taking control, B. <laughs> She's like, I'm here for you, homie. I'm here for you, homie. She a dragon rider. Just as he is, she is. <laughs> so she could be a dad go queen, could she? She got prowess, homie. Pipots out of the zombie mazen below Vule, Conier Nuhoruho, Sut Thailand. Seculant. Razilari to me. Oh. <laughs> that go. I'm right here, Uncle. <laughs> He just the object of your ire. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. So do it. But see, he, he love with that gum knees, man. Boy, <laughs> that was tough, though. Ain't like she ain't pregnant, man. She better at this. She better at this. She good. That's because he cares for her, man. And she showed more strength. She showed strength. Went up there and said what she had to say. The truth of the matter. Mm. His wife. <laughs> he wasn't going to wear that woman, man. <laughs> he might have, I don't know, dude. I don't think he got no kid either. He was just playing, dude. Seeing how far his brother would go. See how strong or weak he is. And he found out his daughter is stronger than he is. You announced that we were to be wet? On the morrow. And that I was with child. <laughs> Your child. <laughs> Perhaps when we are wed, we can make that true. You're safe with me, I swear it. You are Targaryen. You can afford to play your stupid games with the king, but I cannot. <laughs> I didn't come into your soul. I came to you to be liberated. From what? Fear. <laughs> dude, playing some games, dude. He like, we're gonna go to bed. We're gonna have a baby. He never would have done that. And she don't even want it. That's so funny. He just wanted to see what the king would do. But the king apparent, or the queen apparent, so she ain't playing. She handled that business. I like her. I have come looking for an unencumbered opinion. She comes from unimpeachable Valyrian stock, and she has Targaryen blood. What's to miss like? She is 12. <laughs> she will mature. Save Lord Corlys and fix him at your side, permanently as an ally. The princess has returned from Dragonstone. Dragonstone. <laughs> hey, like, wait, she went to Dragonstone? Yeah. By marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Against whom? Whomever may dare to challenge us. Yeah, so they don't have to be. And so your first duty is to the realm. Hmm, that's tough. Your mother would have understood this just as I do. But she got what she wanted to hear, though, that he wants her to be the throne, as well as uh, uh, the love that he shared for his mother, man. That's tough, dude, because he's right, or they're right. Or actually, it was a woman that was right, the, the queen who was to be or never was, because that's going to put some uh, strife between them. Dang. That heir coming, if it's a boy, then they're the, they going to expect it to be him, even though he said that the throne was going to be his daughter. Bro, that's why they call this the Game of Thrones, huh? 
I have decided to take a new wife. That's gonna be twisted though. It's probably not gonna be. It's gonna be Otto's daughter though. His I intend to marry his own the lady name. Alice and Hightower. Oh man! Before spring's end. Oh man! This is an absurdity. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm, and I am your king. That was dude's plan the whole time, man. That was his plan the whole time. Dude, and she didn't like that either. She didn't know that they were seeing each other. Dang. Dang, Owen. <laughs> it's even more deceit now. Always thought of you and I as having been made from the same cloth. <laughs> I know it, man, because he was with him. It was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Being king. <laughs> What's it being king? <laughs> And balls and tawnies. I will speak of my brother as I wish. You may not. You will not. Yeah. He still has respect for his brother. That's his brother. The other realm's second son, Stamen. Our worth is not given. It must be made. That's because they're from Valeria. That's why. And she has Targaryen blood because he married a Targaryen. Ooh, that second, that second episode though, huh? They like twisting and tangling and weaving all types of treacheries. Cause uh, yeah, first off, we got old girl who's probably super mad now because her daddy married her best friend. You know what I'm saying? That ain't cool. In what way? You know what I mean? Even now, that's like kind of a crazy thing. Second is like just him turning, uh, even after he'd been given so much knowledge to marry this specific girl because this would be the best for the realm and he doesn't do it. And her daughter, his daughter, I mean, would have thought that being best because it would have been a choice for the sake of the realm rather than the sake of her father falling in love with some other woman. You know what I'm saying? And then, dude, Hightower the hand sneaked himself into a higher position, bro. Because when his child, you know, I mean, I guess his grandchild is born, then he will have uh, favor with the throne. And uh, him being the hand, he's going to push for a uh, dude to remove the heir from old girl and make it into his grandson. He, I mean, that's just what it is, man. Damon, I like this brother, dude. He's so funny. He's like just doing all this stuff to wig out his brother, which he probably has no real thing, but I think he knew his brother wasn't gonna go, that it was gonna be Otto who came, and he was ready to kill that fool, man. But then his niece came, and when his niece came, he's like, dude, I really am not gonna hurt my family. He's like, dude, this is my family. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that last little bit, though, was also good. Because that's how it is. He's like, you can do whatever you want to your brother, but nobody else can. Because he said he was there to protect his brother, to back him up in every way. And I think that Damon may go along with this is because it's in no way directly going to affect the reign of his brother. And so he will do this thing to strengthen his own name and his own right to the seat after his brother's death. But I don't know how these things work out politically, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's going down. I like this episode, man. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one.